Sinji. Of course. Um, Sinji, very, very well known flag pair up here. But now I get to see a new one. Let's go. Absolutely. We're going to be seeing a lot of projectiles fly in this first match already thrown out. Boomerangs, arrows, hydrants, and Pac Man. I am a little surprised that we have allowed a Pac Man to go to PS2. Because, I mean, obviously it's a pretty neutral stage for most of the cast. But I really feel like Pac-Man uh, really thrives under these platforms. And already we're seeing that uh, Khaki's already 85%, not finding too much of an answer uh, getting across these hydrants. Yeah, really unfortunate start for Khaki's right now. 139%. Oh, that, was that was clean. Wow. Good job on BC. Only having 30% to his name. And honestly, you're right. Khaki's having a really difficult time trying to come into this uh, situation. Now the bell is out. And that's a dangerous situation for any character at 100, literally 100 and oh, both. That should be you dead? No, what? not able to connect. Back nope. here, still not going to be taking it. Khaki is living to 161, but really just not able to find any sort of uh, opening. He almost had something there, but I think was a little scared of the Hydrant approaching, which absolutely would have been his death. Yeah, as you should be afraid of the Hydrant. The Hydrant is like straight up, such a lethal uh, projectile that Pac Man does have. And the amount of setups that he has in order to break up so much percentage on you with uh, Pac Man, with uh, Hydra setups, is horrifying, which we saw earlier in the match, taking like a like 80% in total just from Hydra like Jan against. But yeah, that will take the first stop. And, you know, BC now having a, a range, a sizable amount oh, of percent. No, there's no, no way. There's no way. Oh, okay. Oh. He wanted to down tilt, but the Hydrant pushed him off and he ended up down airing. Luckily, he was just able to make it back. But, I mean, Khaki's, now we're starting to uh, see signs of life. BC up at uh, getting up to those red percentages. Uh, if he can take this stock fairly easy, uh, fairly quickly, which, I mean, Young Link has just a bevy of combo starters uh, to connect into a kill move. So, hopefully, it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, I know. Agreed. Honestly, Khaki's can can bring us back if he, if he ha if he's able to kind of avoid a lot of these hydrant apple uh, projectiles. Uh, BC is very proficient in throwing and uh, pulling out whenever he needs to. And God, he's also amazing. Oh, the pogo stick! The pogo very stick nice. coming in clutch. But yeah, uh, BC is very adept at actually connecting a lot of these attacks. And that hydrant dealing like what 30% by itself. Yeah, I think Khakis has just not found the confidence to get in with those combo starters for Young Link. You know, you want to find things like uh, grounded up B, a down tilt, a landing back air one, but he just hasn't been able to find any. Looking for a ledge trap right now, throwing some bombs up in the air. BC's just going to be able to take the high road all the way back to center stage, right back home, right behind his hydrant, charging up that key. Yeah, it's a very scary situation for Khakis. He's still at 144%. BC's only at 152 in his first, and his all his three stocks still intact. For the most part, had that connected, actually would have been oh, really be great for Khakis. Okay. okay. Very that, interesting interaction. <laughs> that red trampoline was on the ledge for so long, and I was a little bit scared, because that just puts me in special thought. Oh, but God. the key, as we've said time and time again, every time a Pac-Man's on stream, you have to respect that hydrant. You cannot just swing wildly at it, because the Pac-Man's going to take advantage of your hit lag and your end lag, and you're going to be taking all sorts of combos for it. As well as your positioning, you know, if you're in front of it trying to hit it, he will come and, you know, just attack you right then and there. You come in front of it, he'll attack you. It's actually it's a terrifying uh, setup that you have to really do respect. You can't challenge that Hydra unless you exactly know what you're doing or you have something that kind of bounces it back. Yeah, I mean, especially it, especially it comes down to matchup knowledge, I think, because a lot of characters don't have moves that can immediately pop the Hydrant and get it to launch. And just, you know, putting that damage on the Hydrant will make it even easier for Pac-Man to launch it at you, and then you end up taking the damage for it. Oh my god, I mean, Khakis, if he is able to close stock out, this is not, you know, the end-all be-all for him for this first game. But if he can see the same percentage just like that with, uh, with Pac-Man dash attack, it will, it will be detrimental for him, honestly. What I really want to see are, like you said, some grind uppies, some more of uh, the, the, the ledge trapping situation that he's been trying to go for the entire time. And PC is just simply not allowing him to do so. And that belt is so scary. And I'm so glad that Kaki's is not challenging it whatsoever, staying a great distance away from the bell. Yeah, you really got to be careful. All right, BC at ledge now. Oh, forward throw, actually. Uh, tried to go for a kill instead of going for the uh, stage mm. positioning. And just a so far across Pokemon Stadium 2, not going to be able to find it. But what? finally, the okay, bomb the, into the falling up. up air. 
All right, get some cute little movement with the uh, the bombs right there. Some cute Z drops, but I mean, ugh, not able to actually connect them into anything. And it's just oh, been no, BC's, no, er, oh it's my just been God. BC's game this whole time. Yeah, that was a really solid start. For, I mean, solid game in general for BC. Had a great control of center stage and even off the stage where Kakis really couldn't um, do any of like Young Ling's light timing situations with fire arrows and bombs. So great on BC, and hopefully Kaki is able to kind of get some download information <laughs> during the last round, and make a name for him, you know, make a you know, a comeback in the second game. Mhm. Mm yeah. So I really feel like the counter pick's gonna be super important for this matchup, mm -hmm. especially. I feel like against Pac-Man at all, I really feel like you just can't give him anywhere to hide under. You know, those Pokemon Stadium two platforms. We're putting in so much work, and I feel like, you know, as is always the crux of the Pac-Man matchup, mm -hmm. is just when he's sitting behind the hydrant, charging the fruit, are you able to deal with it? All right, and we're going to be going to Town and City, which I do okay, yeah. agree with. Oh, yeah, that's actually a really good counter pick for, uh, for trying to deal with uh, Pac-Man. Town and City, of course, uh, goes through different platform setups, so hopefully he'll be able to, um, you know, Easy to his advantage uh, for uh, Khakis. Yeah, no, the uh, multiple transformations of Town and City maybe gonna be uh, making the Pac Man just a little bit uncomfortable camping in the same place for too long. He won't uh, be able to, yeah. Yeah, and plus, you know, you have that FD part of it, which is gonna, um, you know, make it so that the Pac Man doesn't have anywhere to hide at all. Yeah, once it comes to FD, I'm really expecting a lot of a lot more of a situation um, or opportunistic opportunity for Khakis to use more of Youngling's, you know, combos that we've been talking about earlier in the first game. So I'm really waiting for that FD stage, which I think believe is right now. Oh, yeah, that was but, such wow. a good bait by BC. He just walked forward just enough to get Khakis to roll in and was ready with the oh, F smash, oh. and it's ready for a quick 65. Already lapping Packy's in percent. I absolutely love uh, BT's playstyle, where he's a lot more aggressive as Pac-Man. He has done a few, little bit of those uh, those uh, hydrant camping situations, but he is not afraid to come in and actually pummel with his opponent, which I really respect. As uh, as people who uh, Pac-Man typically don't do that as often. Yeah, and there we go. Like I was saying before, Kaki's F tilted the fire hydrant, and it just sent it right over Pac-Man. That's really something you have to know in the matchup. Is you know. Can you break the hydrant? And Great. where are you going to be sending it? Well, that was amazing uh, opportunity from Kaki to use a hydrant as a, another like ledge, uh, not ledge, but jump boost for himself in order to catch BC with that uh, with that up air. Great play on him, but he's at a very dangerous percentage, 127 to his name. And you know, Young Link can easily be you know back thrown into oblivion with uh, with Pac-Man. Yeah, especially on Town and City. Mm -hmm. But I mean, so far, Kaki's been doing a fairly good job. Apple not going to take it on a Town and City blast zone. Just kidding. Oh, the gosh. second one will. But I mean, I felt like Hackies was doing a good job in that uh, the, his last moments there, avoiding the kill setups, uh, especially with these long-lasting hitboxes. Uh, we've seen him throw out the nair and the up air a lot to really avoid you know hydrants being dropped on his head and things like that. Ooh, only getting an F tilt off of that uh, whiffed pack grab. Yeah, I absolutely love uh, like no, I, I actually like what Kaki was doing off that ledge right there. But you know, BC is able to convert so easily with uh, his own attacks. You know, having to, uh, being able to use you know the the little spaceship. Dang it! <laughs> there we go. That is spaceship in order for his advantage. But right there, that's what we've been looking for. Getting the falling back air into up smash. Kaki's keeping things a little bit competitive. He's in those orange percents, so it's a little bit scary. But if he's able to find these combos that we've been talking about, you know, that's we all could I'm be waiting for. Three. Yeah. I'm hoping to get to this game three. I love when we're able to get some into game three and see how. Oh, oh no! Okay, oh, Town City though. Counter oh, yeah. coming in clutch. TNC Blast Zone's coming in clutch. But that would have killed Death on PS2 had he stayed on PS2. God. Gotta be careful about this Gal uh, Galaga Galaxy and whatever it's called. The lore. The lore. I do not know it. <laughs> I came back with up B. Right, that Batman bell is in on deck. That was. Very bold by Khaki is to be landing right on BC as he had a bell in hand. Luckily, it worked out for him. Oh, he's just throwing out the apple. Oh, God. Apple could be taking it soon. I think the next apple might do it. So Khaki really has to be careful, especially when BC's throwing out these very slow projectiles that cover a lot of ground. No, he's doing... Oh! Oh, clinging together, using being able to punish the, uh, the grab right there. Hopefully, we're able to bring up a little bit more of an even percentage. But no, Back not yet. Yeah, that's gonna be, yep. That is going to be doing it. 
That's a, definitely going to be doing it. A 2 0 in, after, in uh, BC's favor, rather. I mean, great, great fight from Kakis, honestly. I, I really did see him trying to kind of like adapt to the situation in the second game. Uh, if SGS was able to get back to one, a one stock situation on both players, uh, I think this is the thing that I really has to work on is just the matchup knowledge with Pac Man in general, especially this Pac Man, Pac Man, where he, he, he didn't camp as often as I was expecting. Mm -hmm. He was very, he was very in like the moment and was not afraid of going, coming in and just pummeling you to death. Right now, and I mean, like you said, we were starting to see signs of life from Khaki's, uh, I feel like near the end of both games, but I mean, BC's momentum was just a little too dominant. Khaki's was never able to really plant his feet and, you know, f shift the momentum in his favor. Because when he planted his feet, he got hit by an apple. <laughs> <laughs> like, my man just had no Ugh. way of coming back on the stage that he paid money to play on. Like, I it know. was all like. God, it's just a, ma a matter of, again, knowing your matchups and knowing, like, what is Young Link do going to do against Pac-Man? Yeah. You know? Pac-Man, really good Pac-Man.